Are you sick of watching pros play on zero ping whilst you're stuck lagging every single fight? Well today I'm showing you the exact windows tweaks and internet settings the best players use to get the fastest and most stable connection possible. These are real tested changes that can reduce delay, improve network stability and give you that smooth responsive feel that you guys are looking for. Let's get right into the video. Now for the first tweak we're going to be making sure your network is on the correct band. To do this head over to the search bar, search control panel just like so, click onto it and remember but during this video we'll get more and more advanced so the first week go on to network and internet network and sharing center then your internet connection will be right here connections for example this is mine right here if you're playing ethernet by the way this is completely fine to do i really recommend you guys copy this exactly as it is as well left click onto this hyperlink then go into properties just like so once we're on properties then go on to configure once we're on configure i'll make this in the middle go on to advanced once we're on advanced first thing that you need to look for is the wireless mode right here the value most of you I know most of you are playing auto because that's how it is by default that's the fastest way on your internet connection to actually connect to your Wi-Fi wirelessly but it's not actually the best band for the best wireless speed so if you guys know what I mean by this we're changing it from 2.4 Hertz to 5 Hertz and literally one way to check what you're playing right now by the way just before I change this for you go on to your settings quickly search Wi-Fi just like so Wi-Fi settings click onto your Wi-Fi scroll down network bands need to say 5 gigahertz Hertz. if it already says 5 gigahertz perfect still do this tweak if it says 2.4 you're going to do this tweak and you're going to notice a massive difference instantly so i'll minimize this the value that we need to play that forces your wi-fi to play on the 5 gigahertz literally no matter what it has to play 5 gigahertz is the 802.11 ac so click onto this press apply press ok once you do this your wi-fi is going to cut out for about 30 seconds completely fine it's going to load back up once it loads back up boys you guys need to go back into and I go into creative see if you have packet loss if you have packet loss unfortunately your wi-fi just cannot handle five gigahertz if you don't have packet loss perfect now your wi-fi is already sped up by this tweak and some of you may not even have this option that means your wi-fi literally won't be able to do it unfortunately but 99 percent of you need to play this ac right here once you do this we can go back onto general close this up go onto properties and what we want to look for right here microsoft network adapter multiplexer protocol make sure you turn that off that's Put an unnecessary strain in your Wi-Fi. You literally don't need that running in the background. Another thing you guys need to do, Internet Protocol version 4. Literally go highlight it just like so. Go on to properties. Then some of you, I recommend to use this DNS server. And now if you're wondering, Jinchi, should I use this DNS server? Honestly, you just got to try it out for yourself. I hate when people say that. But for this one especially, you literally try it out for yourself. See if it works or not. For most of you, this probably will benefit you. So for the preferred DNS server, 111. One, then alternative one zero zero one. This is the cloud fair DNS server. This is literally made for gaming, by the way. Once you do this, press OK, just like so. Again, your Wi-Fi is going to cut out. It's completely fine. Don't need to worry about it. Then load up Fortnite. See if your ping is a bit better. It should be a tiny bit better from that. If not, literally go back onto it. Go onto properties. Obtain DNS server address automatically. Press OK. Simple as that. It's a very very easy change. Now for the most important part of this video, what ping booster do you need to be playing? There's so many pros playing with so many different ping boosters gear up no ping exit like but by far the best one is definitely gear up and by the way if you're not playing with a ping booster guys you are being left behind right now there is literally a free trial of gear up in the description of my video as well by the way so during the free trial you're not paying a penny you could try it out and see if it works for you for 99 percent of you guys watching this video this will work for you let me just quickly prove to you that i'm playing normally 50 to 60 ping on fortnite i'll load up fortnite now with no gear up involved and show you this now we're on fortnite as you can see Jinchi right here we have no gear up or anything enabled let me go show you my ping quickly and right here also 53 ms i'm not actually gonna lie that's actually quite good for ping for me if you guys watch my videos consistently i'm normally around 70 ms and as you can see right here you're up 53 ms now let's literally close fortnite up just like so go back onto gear up just press boost it's literally that simple that's what these ping boosters do they find the best servers for you to connect to server region perfect it's on europe already node we can choose what node we want to play but we're gonna play on the most optimal one and now again we're literally on fortnite again it's this simple by the way all you have to do is literally just press boost now right here estimated ping of 10 ms apparently let's go check fortnite obviously boom 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 auto of now 10 ms europe 10 ms i'm not gonna lie i'm not that surprised because i use gear up every single time i'm playing fortnite or any other game so make sure you guys download it for yourself as there's a free trial going on i honestly just can't say it enough if you guys have nothing to lose literally just go in the description download it and try it out it's that simple now for our next week the most important important one the most advanced one by far we're going to be disabling nagel's algorithm to do this press windows and r 
so run comes up search reg edit press on ok now you guys need to follow along very very carefully because this is super hard to get to one thing you need to bring down hq local machine bring the folder down system bring that folder down current control set bring that one down services bring that one down now you're gonna have to scroll down quite a bit until the t section it's called tcip tcpip scroll that down parameters put down uh, put that one down interfaces highlight that one then once you're on here tcp double click onto that the value data needs to be onto one and this bottom one tcp no delay that also needs to be onto one once you disable it that's no longer bottlenecking your pc always in the background of so many pcs just always bottlenecking their wi-fi so make sure you do that just like so once you do that restart your wi-fi restart your pc and now you are good to go let me know what you guys think of this video please do leave a like if you have some time please do subscribe and of course please do leave a comment i'll see you guys on further on next week